Nantes may have come into this game against Bordeaux in 13th place, but they're not entirely out of the woods yet. They'll have been looking for a repeat of the reverse fixture, which they won 3-0 at the Stade at Chabon del Mas. Bordeaux, meanwhile, have had a disappointing month of March with two defeats and two draws. To have any chance of a European finish, they needed a win here at the Beaujois. And they were the first to look dangerous. A long ball for Jussier here, but the Brazilian unable to get on the end of it. Maxime Dupé in for the injured at Remy Ryu in the Nantes net. Coming out and getting hold of that one. Remarkably, all sorts of injury problems for Nantes. All three of their goal scorers from that reverse fixture missing. But Alejandro Bedoya looking to make up for it here. A decent chance on the half hour mark. Well, the notable absence, of course, captain Filip Djordjevic, without whom Nantes haven't scored a goal this season. The four matches that he's missed. The American international Bedoya close here, but denied by Cedric Carrasso in the Bordeaux net. He himself returning from a two-week injury. Goal this then at half-time. And the visitors getting the second half underway. Bruno Baron Kelly on the bench for Nantes. With manager Mikel Dezakarian in hospital. And a wonderful save from Carrasso from this Serge Gakpe free kick. Carrasso doing himself an injury in the process. But clawing that one out to keep the score out nil nil. Coming through a crowd of players and taking a deflection. Fine save. And Nantes coming forward again. Into the game's final minutes. Johan Ordell going down the left. Speculative ball across. But there was Gakpe. Taking advantage of a terrible defending error from Lamin Sane there. But just unable to keep his shot down. And that would have been the winner. Just firing high and wide over Carrasso's goal. There wasn't even a single shot on target for Bordeaux in the match. So inevitably it finished. 0-0, Bordeaux in ninth. Nantes slipped to 14th.